Now, listen, I'm not saying that we need a haircut, but so many of us do. Hey, Michael, how are you, buddy? But so many of us <laughs> do need a haircut, and we're at home. Um, I have the moss growing up the back of my neck to my hairline. So what do we do about it? Here to teach us the proper way to, to cut your own hair is the owner of Barba Men's Groom in Boutique, Xavier Cruz. Xavier, good morning. Wow, your hair looks great on your face. Good morning, guys. Yeah, I cleaned it up yesterday a little bit. <laughs> That's all I have. So do you, Xavier, do, do you buzz your own hair? Are you somebody that you can do it yourself? I do it myself. Every other day, I cut my hair. I don't want to brag, but Michael, um, he took he took a clipper to his own head, and I think he did a pretty extraordinary job, not realizing that we were going to do this segment today. So he's um, it's an amateur job, but I think it did okay. But I think it did okay. It's hard. It's hard to clip your own hair. It is. It is. You know, um, if you don't know what you're doing, it could be a little difficult. But I'm here to show you guys the proper way to do it. Yeah, let's jump okay, right into us. it. Uh, what do we need to do to cut our own hair? Well, all right, give me one second. First of all, I'm gonna introduce to you guys my husband, JP, who I'm going to uh, demonstrate with. Hey guys, how are you? How's Hi, it going? JP. Hi, JP. Hi, how are you? Hair. Good, good. Good, so so Ryan, you really, you wanna use just an old t-shirt or an old shirt that you just have on. Don't use a towel. Um, it kind of impedes the, uh, the clippers, so get rid of your towel. Okay. Get rid of my towel, okay. Get rid of your towel. It's only going to get in the way. So you're going to want to okay. take yep. it off you anyway. Yep. So, so you want to start. Right. So you have clippers. You have scissors. Um, Kelly, I'm not sure what you have. If you just have a pair of scissors. I have scissors. I have a pair right. of scissors. Awesome. <laughs> I love the that. Same ones we have. <laughs> same ones we have. <laughs> kitchen scissors. I think, most, I think most people have a pair of uh, kitchen scissors at home. So. Mm -hmm. If you're just using scissors, you know, you can do a scissor over comb. And what you do, well, uh, Michael already cut his hair, so you want to just clean it up a little bit. You can just take some small sections in here and just clean up those ends, you know, just for a little bit of blending. And if you oh, want, let me, get the, like, let me get the breath. Go ahead. <laughs> Keep, you know, I'm listening, I'm listening. All right, and with Ryan, you know, you have a pair of clippers. <laughs> And what do you have? Do you have a, yes. <laughs> do you have, there you go. So you want to put on the largest setting just to be on the safe side. All sure. Right? And then you go to largest setting. You're going to start with the back or the sides and you're going to start with the nape and you're going to go just straight up, <laughs> just into the bottom <laughs> of your crown. Easy strokes. When you get to the top, you just kind of flip the uh, the buzzer away, like so. So straight up against the grain. Straight up against the grain, and when you get to the top, you just <laughs> flip it away. <laughs> and Kelly's already started. <laughs> I love it. Yes. <laughs> I, know I like that, go. Michael. <laughs> Small, easy little snips. That's all you need. <laughs> I say Gilman's got his going there too. <laughs> yes, poor Jamie, poor Jamie. Okay. I I, so, I hope you're I hope you're making money for therapy, Jamie. After this is all over. <laughs> so if you only have you know clippers and a, and a comb, you can do clippers over comb. Take that, put it on the smallest setting that you oh, have wow. there, and just ever so slightly take off those ends. What a head of hair he has, my gosh. He has Gorgeous a lot of hair. hair. <laughs> a lot, yes, it's very shiny. <laughs> and Ryan, so when you, when you use clippers, again, keep it on the larger, on the longer setting when you go up. You can also use your hand as a guide. So you take your hand and hold it like that. Use a clipper. That way you don't go too high. That's tough. Uh, can I ask you a question? Um, sure. What do you think? Uh, if you see you see my hair now, what do you think about a top knot? Should I grow it out to do a top knot? I saw Harry Styles had one. <laughs> I hate top knots, <laughs> but you'll probably get you <laughs> That is some major hair you have there. <laughs> oh yeah, this is this is this is, this is real. 
So, Ryan, how long, here, so, like, so if, if I do end up doing this, really, and I, I cut it down, I'm on you know number seven, it right. will grow back fast, right? It will still grow back. It'll grow back just as fast as it did before. So you know, you, you basically just want to clean it up. You don't want to take too much off. You know, you, it's not going to be perfect. That's, everyone should know that it's not going to be perfect, but at least it'll be a little neater. You know, so if you start with a longer setting, you know, you just got to clean it up. That's what you're doing. I mean, and I could watch Ryan's hair okay. explode on the sides all day long. It's kind of fascinating <laughs> to watch. It's like <laughs> that is some real wit, isn't it? <laughs> I mean, amazing. All right, guys, Listen. so that was just two minutes, but obviously a haircut takes a little longer than that. So I'm here to show you exactly what to do. It's very long. <laughs> so we're gonna finish this up. So we're gonna just take it to the one, all the way up, just to the bottom of the crown. So guys, don't forget to, to visit us when we open. Um, Barba Men's Grooming Boutique. We are located in Chelsea, in New York City. We actually met at Barba uh, five years ago when Xavier just opened up. I was a client and <laughs> then he proposed. I saw it, I liked it, and I put a ring on it. <laughs> he did. So if you don't have a pair of, of hair cutting scissors, you, know, you may have a pair of kitchen scissors. So we're gonna use that for blending. Pivot the top so just the longer hair is like, it's what you wanna get rid of. So now that we're done with the sides and back, we're gonna trim the top. So you can either wet your hands and wet his hair, or you can use a spray bottle. I'm using my garden bottle. So now what we're gonna do is lift and cut just those ends that are longer than the rest, and that's gonna even it out. That's called cross trimming. And we're pretty much done. So all we're gonna do is find your, your, your favorite product. <laughs> and have fun, guys. Just a simple little trim. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Thank you guys. Bye.